So good evening, everyone. Um, so I want to directly address the medical episode that I experienced uh, late yesterday evening after dinner. So while off duty, I was out with a group of friends for dinner and didn't have any feelings or symptoms of uh, impairment or side effects from my medication when I left the restaurant. So I was close to home when I began feeling the same way I felt that day uh, when we did that press conference in Inglewood a couple of years ago. But out of abundance of caution, I pulled over to the side and stopped, uh, even though I was relatively close to home. Someone called 911 and reported a person asleep at the stop sign. The responding officers did come. They checked on me and confirmed that I was able to continue on my way. Also, that feeling that I was feeling had passed by that time. So should I have had a driver with me last night? Yes, I should have. But I had already worked a full day, and so did he. So because of uh, different issues going on, and he has a young family, including CPS, a CPS um, student, I let him go home so he could deal with that. So I visited my cardiologist on Monday and Tuesday. And the reason for that was to do the follow-up from the blood clot that I had experienced this summer. Um, when I visited him on Tuesday, he adjusted my medication. And it's, gonna, it's painful to, to admit this, but when he adjusted my medication, I took the old medication out for high blood pressure, but I failed to put the new medication in. So he wasn't too happy with me today when he found out I hadn't taken it. And I actually had forgotten uh, to put it in there. So after, because of last night's episode, I then visited my neurologist earlier today, and we found, discovered I had elevated blood pressure. And that's when I realized I didn't switch the medications out. Um, he's recommending right now that I go to the ER just to make sure everything's okay. And I assured him, even though we fought on the phone for a little while, that I would go, but I just felt it was incumbent upon me to be here tonight for the police board meeting. So uh, to avoid the appearance of impropriety and just have total transparency, I ordered the Bureau of Internal Affairs to conduct, conduct an internal investigation just to be transparent. But I've, as I've said before, every officer, regardless of rank, must uphold themselves to the highest of standards, and that includes me. So with that, I'll take a few questions if you all have. Was there a breathalyzer given or any kind of blood drawn? And if not, why not to erase any occurrence of impropriety? Well, listen, I've been a cop for 30 years now, 31 years. And usually, um, if officers feel the need, they don't just do that just because. What they do is if they feel a need to, that if someone looks impaired, uh, or intoxicated, or if they smell alcohol or cannabis, for that matter, then they will conduct that. But if they don't think there's any reason to, then they won't do it. So it's a judgment call. Yes. But they did. No, they did not. The report was that they saw someone potentially sleeping at the wheel. Were you asleep? Were you conscious? You yeah. Know, so what what happened that that particular feeling? I don't know if any of you all have ever suffered that, but it it. it how can I explain? It's just um, your body kind of gives you a warning when, with the high blood pressure thing that uh, you may pass out. So I pulled over, stopped, and, uh, and I just rested myself until that feeling passed. But you were awake at the time. No, I, I fell asleep. Yeah, I, f I fell asleep. Because remember, guys, we worked a long day yesterday. You know, so I was tired. As a matter of fact, I think... Uh, uh, one of the reporters called the office yesterday when I did uh, some press and told my press people that I didn't look right. So, you know, again, I, should I do better with that medication? I, I, and there's a couple people not too happy with me uh, about that because I, that's the same thing that happened before. So the blood pressure medication is something I, that I have to do better with. Could you explain? You, you switched out one medication for the other one? I was yes. Afraid. So they changed my medication. But you, but you were taking you your medication still? Not the no, I took, I took that, and that's on me. You guys are going to get me killed when I get home. <laughs> so what happened was 
when he told me to stop taking that initial blood pressure medication, I took that all out, but I failed to put the new medication in. So when I went to see him today and my blood pressure was elevated, that's actually when I realized I hadn't done it. So I had to assure him when I came back to work that I would take the new medication, the new blood pressure medication. So you so it, wasn't, it wasn't a matter of not eating before the medication. You just forgot to take the medication. Yes, I, I failed to replace the new medication from the old. You have a pill box? I do. So you, if you know anything about that, you set it up for the entire week. So when he told me to uh, switch it out, I took all of the old stuff out, but I hadn't gotten the new stuff yet. And by the time I got it, I forgot to put it. I know. I know. Was it a mistake not to administer to you, given that you're the police superintendent and you were asleep in your car? No, just somebody being asleep in a car doesn't mean they're impaired in any way. Guys, thanks a lot. Did you we we, we got to get to the police board here and the did superintendent has to go see the doctor. Not well? No. And did this Thank happen you. at 34th and Aberdeen? Yes. Yes. Okay. Thanks, guys. Thank you.